Really? Oh, no. I know I look really stupid. <laughs> it's fine. Alright, so losers finals up here next. TA Xanos versus TA Fatality. Both true ambition both. Okay, I'm gonna assume this is a hand warmer now. Uh, both true ambition boys. Gonna get this first match on the way right after this. Alright, and again we have a start on Smashville. Alright, and we have a strong start on Smashville. Let's see what's gonna happen here. Up air, up air, up air. Thanos kind of has to back off. I know what he wants to do, but he can't really challenge Griffin's aerials. Or, excuse me, Fatality's aerials. Just because Falcon's up air is really, really meaty. Really, really destroying it. It comes out super fast. Uh, I'm trying to land on him with a neutral air, but it's probably not gonna be the answer. Alright, and again, patented back air is just gonna seal that stock. Nice neutral air. Come out from Xanos. Look, pro tip for you guys that may not know. Uh, Lucas's neutral air can actually be smashed the out of it relatively consistently as long as you smash the eye out of it properly. You just have to pretty much roll your control stick upwards, and you should fall out almost every time. And we see a high recovery coming out from Fatality. Dash tag, up air, pressure. Oh, okay. So that was an interesting bait, and there we go. That's what I was talking about earlier, <laughs> where Fatality can kind of grab you through the stage. That's not going to do it. Oh, never mind. Uh, that's a little bit stronger than I thought it would be. Okay. My bad. That's why they're there, and I'm here. But um, anyways. Oh my gosh. Fatality reaching for it all there. Um, and he's having a little bit of trouble. I see what he's going for. He's going for these uppers to finish the stock, but that shouldn't kill. Um, but. Lucas is a small kid, but that back here is going to seal it anyway. Um, Lucas is a pretty small kid, pretty small hurt box. Uh, it's going to have a hard time landing the up air to E. So, Fatality is just going to run it back with the back air again. It's such a strong tool in neutral to just throw out. Because if it whiffs, you're generally safe. And if it doesn't whiff, they're probably dead. But even then, Fatality is using it in even smarter positions because his opponent is usually cramped on the ledge, so they're not going to really try to roll back against it. And 9 times out of 10, you don't want to roll into your opponent, generally speaking. Alright, nice recovery. You got to be very careful about putting out hitboxes on the ledge against Fatality. Falcon, as limited as his options are, oh my gosh, you see he's reaching for it again, but such a little kid that it's kind of hard to aim that. Alright. But again, as I was saying, uh, you have to watch out for Fatality on the ledge. As limited as his options are, Fatality is willing to take the risk to neutral air, jump off stage sometimes, and then just throw out random up smashes in neutral too. Uh, well, not neutral, but that was a good call on his part. He knew exactly where T.A. Xanos was going to go with that. He knew exactly how to cover it, and knew exactly when it was going to KO. And we see Xanos is, is kind of struggling a little bit. Oh my goodness. And the two frame. I didn't even know you could do that on this air. Um, so yeah, game three. So yeah, game three. Uh, Xenos put up a bit of a fight, but you know, uh, Falcon Seal kind of just said, nah, you're in the blast zone now. We see the immediate switch to Ness. Um, I don't knock him for this decision. You know, first two games were kind of run overs. So definitely, definitely something to try out. And we're on Dream Lane now. Let's see. And right off the bat. We have back airs. Neutral's playing out a little bit slowly. Um, this is interesting though. I feel as if Xanos is playing neutral. Oh wow, they grab. Okay. I think down smash is just in a little bit there, but I feel as if Xanos is it's it's an interesting change and in okay, Fatality's just getting kinda molly off right now. I don't dislike it, but I feel as if Vitality is still trying to play against Lucas because he's giving Ness a lot more room than he usually does. Um, 
but maybe that's because you know he's, he's thinking about fighting the other PK boys. Used to PK fires coming to his face. Um, Ness not really gonna use his PK fires too often as they are very punishable on block. Up here, up here. Uh, pretty sure that was back here, but he's gonna take it to the bank anyway. And again, Vitality covering almost every single one of Thanos' get up options. All right, nice roll back to jab. What are we gonna see here? Ooh, that's gonna be the first stock. I don't think Fatality has to jump. He doesn't. He's just gonna uh, fall to the blast zone. So good stuff for Xanos there, capitalizing on his recovery with that nice neutral there. How did that there? <laughs> How did that even? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so again, the knee of the gods coming out there from Fatality. It's gonna seal that stock immediately. That's gonna be death. Uh. All right. So again. Why be afraid to switch? Definitely a volatile choice. <laughs> a volatile matchup as we see there. Just one little nick on the PK Thunder from Xenos is gonna send Fatality to his doom. Alright. And now we have game four on Town and City. And Xenos opting to say Ness, which I don't I don't knock that choice. He's definitely doing a great job. Uh, going in a lot more than he was with Lucas. And I don't think Fatality's adjusted to it yet. But we'll see what he'll do as time goes on. Alright, there we go. And one new thing I like that Fatality's doing that he wasn't doing before is he's throwing out a couple more landing neutral airs just to frame trap landings. It's a really, really uh, interesting but definitely a great tool to help him when he's trying to pressure his opponents. The grab, kind of punish that. What's that back here gonna do? Oh uh, yeah, you don't wanna throw that out there. Uh, Vitality, very, very privy to avoiding projectiles off stage and just punishing you for that. Just gonna dip right under that PK fire and just punish with the back air anyway. That accidental knee. And again, we see a neutral layer off the ledge punishing Xenos' aggressive kill options or aggressive options from the ledge, trying to hit him with something. Alright, good roll, but that's gonna bait it out. What's gonna happen here? Alright, it's gonna live. Another neutral is coming out, not gonna really get punished. And that's gonna be enough there. So great patience there from Xenos, gonna take that first stock. Alright, good grab. Trying to get the neutral air, falls out a little bit. And again, we see that landing there that I was talking about. Adding on a little bit more damage. And uh, again, Xanos coming down with a really aggressive option. Not the position to do that in. Um, definitely, uh, definitely should have opted for the ledge there. But Fatality gonna take that third, or that fourth game, excuse me, and run it all the way back to Grand Finals against player one.